Hello, we're back out again and today we're at the Angmering Park Estate which is lovely huge great woods. I'll give you a quick spin round and today one of the things we're doing is we're going to go and look at the gibbet of Jack Upperton. So he was hung for a, a crime which we'll talk about in a minute and the gibbet is where he was hung up in a metal cage for many years until his body rotted. So we'll go and have a look. Right, I've spotted the sign. Um, we're gonna have to sort of make our way through. It's off the main path. So it's on the side of the road. I imagine it would have been a lot more visible a few years ago. So, here you go. The marking place of Jack Upperton's gibbet. So just to give you a bit of background, uh, Jack Upperton was about 60 um, and on the 26th of September 1770 he decided he was going to rob the mail which came through here which as I said, all right Trav, this was a main route up towards like Horsham London way. Um, so yeah, I don't know how he did it, whether he had a gun or whatever but 26th of September 1770 he robbed a young lad carrying the mail obviously to get the money out of the envelopes. And then some say it was a pound. I heard some of them they'll say it was five pounds. Either way, a pound would have been a lot of money back then. And then I think what happened was he was caught, or he was in the villagers noticed that he was spending a lot more money than he had. Um, he'd never committed a crime before, but I think he'd fallen hard times. So they, was, they arrested him, and the young lad he'd robbed the money off um, recognised him. So he was convicted. I believe he was hung in Horsham for robbery, that's what they used to do back then. And then what happened was this, because this was where his crime was, they put him in a gibbet, which was a great big metal cage after he was dead, hung him up to rot here as a warning to all the other people passing by not to commit that kind of crime. So that is Jack Upperton's gibbet on what was a busy road. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna press on a bit more through the estate. So yeah, we're a bit further in, we're on the, well, I wouldn't say main road, but a paved road. And you probably can't see them now. But back there, we just sort of were walking up and there was cars everywhere. And in the di distance, all these people that, I first of all looked red and I thought, no, they don't have fox hunting around here. And then when we got near them, they were uh, all have fluorescent jackets and they're all from Lowland Rescue that I hadn't heard of. And I guess that's us around here is lowlands, we're not in the highlands. Um, so now we had a quick chat with them. They said they're on a training exercise. Um, so that's handy. It's good to know they practice in case we ever need rescuing, don't you think, Trav? Maybe. Maybe. So, yeah, it's been quite busy, lots of dog walkers. Um, but we're sort of heading, I guess, northish, straight up through the park, Anamarian Park Estate. And then we're going to do like a big circle. So. Further up we'll turn right, work our way around. But honestly, put inside the dog walkers, it's lovely. See lovely here, especially in this weather. Sort of cool December day. Actually, has it rained yet? It might rain no. Rain later. Touch wood, it won't rain, Trav. I hope it doesn't rain. Let's hope it doesn't rain. So yeah, we're just pushing on. Um, lovely walk in December. Okay, so we're still on Angmering Park Estate. We're just basically today having a big walk around it. Um, so we turned right, so we've gone up a couple of miles, turned right, so we're heading down through the woods now. Very misty, I'll just give you a quick show. <coughs> Extremely misty, um, but not too cold. It's supposed to be like six degrees today, but it just doesn't feel that cold. But yeah, really misty morning in the woods. Um, yeah, a little bit about the Angamiring estate. Uh, Angamiring comes from Angamir's children, I do believe. Um, the estate was part of the Norfolk estate, it's the eastern half, and it's about 6,700 acres, something like that. Um, and it goes back at least to the Norman conquest, 
probably before. Don't know if you can hear that. There's been non-stop shooting, um, but it's a long way away, thankfully. So I don't think we're going to get shot today. We did do a couple of loud ones, but they're quite away to the left, which is private land. It's getting a bit muddy here, Travis. So stay to the left behind me. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, a little bit more muddy here because we're off the sort of main path. I'm walking our way through and then a bit further on we're going to be turning right and heading down. So right in the middle of the woods now here's me here's travis it's lovely and peaceful well okay i'll carry at that give you a swing around we're in these giant trees right in the woods um very misty and it goes past me and it goes past you um very misty lovely and peaceful and my caveat is except for every now and again you hear the gunshots in the distance but even that is sort of you get used to it, so it's not that this is annoying and it's quite a ways away. Uh, hardly seen anyone now. We're away from the car parks. Saw a few dog walkers. Um, so it's not completely empty, but it's so peaceful, lovely. I have seen a deer, well, a couple of deers in here in the past. Um, not really anything today. You don't see much wildlife out the countryside anymore. Uh, but yeah it's gorgeous lovely sunday walk cup of tea Lovely dobby. <sighs> and Scott Jack. Lovely dobby. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> so, been a little bit muddy. Um, not too bad. I haven't got covered in mud or anything. We've had to sort of go through, went through the trees a bit to avoid the worst of the mud. After our lunch, so we're sort of heading back down slowly towards the car. It's lovely. It's full of trees. Just a swing round. So we're just right in the woods. Water over the new year. Yeah. Travis excited because apparently they're going to be doing a new series of Waterloo Road TV program. Mm -hmm. His sister told him next year. So he has spent the last hour talking about it and what's going to happen in it. <laughs> anyway. Okay, I'm back at the car. That was a nice walk. Um, very pleasant, very misty. Nice going through all the. Uh, oh my food. Nice going through the, the woods. A um, few people, not too bad. It says six, seven degrees today, but it felt quite warm. I mean, we were wrapped up, but I didn't need gloves or anything like that. We've parked somewhere up off the A27 on the outskirts of the Engmering Estate seems to be a popular parking space free um, so yeah very pleasant today so Travis what's your verdict oh um, pretty good walk pretty good walk um, yeah it was really good uh, not too muddy and it didn't rain. And it didn't rain again. Yeah, it didn't rain a bit. It, well, we thought it was going to rain. And then I said, don't put your coat on. Because if it does, if you do, it'll stop. And then we waited and it was fine. So that must be about two and a half months of no rain rain. So yeah, my verdict. Great. Um, right. So see you next time. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs>